<laughs> We're gonna do mac and cheese you before we go. See how motivated she got? Mac Heck and cheese. Yeah. It's all about that mac and cheese. Come on. I like your shirt today, Brayley. Hey, Brayley. Need some mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Yeah. We are totally headed back today, back to Minnesota. It's been a fun trip. Brayley's been loving it. Finally got some mac and cheese for her last couple of days and yeah we have a travel day back that's how the day starts mac and cheese and airport well we're probably gonna make a stop at dunkin donuts right sure. i know stacy doesn't drink coffee but i'm not a coffee drinker i'm ready for some donuts and some coffee we have three hours to wait till we actually have to be at the airport and so we're just chilling we might still go to the airport early and we'll see if there's anything close by the airport or something that we can do it's been a pretty chill morning, just a bunch of packing. Really slept in till what, what like nine? So it's just slept for almost 12 hours. She has slept really, really well on our trip. Do you think it's because of exhaustion? Yeah, because we've all slept pretty hard. Definitely, we've been really busy. Ooh. There you go. Me. Help. Help. That's right. Open. She didn't have a single meltdown all week. And we put her through quite a few transitions compared to some of our other trips that we've taken. I mean, we've been to how many different places in the last we've week? We've stayed in Bless you. Jacksonville, one place, Vero Beach, one place, a hotel down here. And we've been in four hotels or Airbnbs, whatever. We've stayed four different places at night in a span of a week. And she has been doing amazing. Yeah. We also did a lot of traveling by car, long distance drives, at least an hour, and she's been doing great. Even without mac and cheese a lot of the time, it's just been a really, a really fun, good trip for sure. So we'll be getting back home tonight. And then she'll be back to school bright and early in the morning. Yeah, which is good. I mean, it sounds like it's just a lot for her, but really it's like her happy place. Like It'll she be. is gonna be excited to be back. Especially with the weekend, and then she's missing a few days next week, or shorter days because of dental stuff. We'll talk about that when that comes. We're uh, having Braley rock the Born Anxious shirt that says, I have autism on the back, be kind. Perfect for traveling because if someone's like, hey, why is this kid up in my personal space? There's so many things that can happen. I would recommend, like if you're traveling and you're nervous about people, crowds and stuff, you don't want to have to constantly explain yourself to everybody. Wear an autism shirt. Wear an autism shirt. Also, we've learned if we're sitting in the front of the plane, we decided to board almost last because Braley sits on the plane a very long time if we board first without any movement and you know the whole waiting thing with autism, she she doesn't like waiting either, Just sitting there in a plane. It has to be moving. All right, well, I'm done talking right now. Let's go. Last day in the mom van, Braley. Last day in the mom van. Let's go. We had to stop and see this waterfall. Don't even, you need a coffee that was there. <laughs> Just kidding, we stopped to get coffee at Dunkin' Donuts. One last trip to Dunkin'. Yeah, this is the last time I can have Dunkin' for who knows how long. They there. have it in the cities. Yeah, but how often do I go to that Dunkin'? Zero times. Not that Dunkin' is that good. It's better than what I have access to in Minnesota, around my house. Caribou, eh. 
It tastes better than caribou because caribou is a hit or miss. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. Okay. At least Duncan's consistent. They haven't been great, but they haven't been bad. They've been good. Do you need help? Every single time, they're good. I don't know how you feel about that, but I like consistency with coffee. Coffee and consistency. Coffee and ketchup pleasure. Honey, honey. What did she say? Hungry eat eat. Wait, Braley, did you say hungry eat eat? That's exactly. <laughs> Seriously, Braley just eats eats so much. Her little Fair stomach enough. is so bloated. Wouldn't you say so? Her tummy is pretty full. Anyways, man, it's time to go to the airport. I'm sad. <sighs> Sorry. It is kind of a bummer. We're not gonna see sun for a few. <laughs> More months, I don't think. Yeah. All like right. this kind of sun and Guess we're gonna have to move here. Dang it. We're gonna have to move here. That's. Yeah, right. No, you're ridiculous. <laughs> you're so ridiculous. You're doing a good job waiting. Found it. Found it. Aw, oh, yeah. <laughs> I love you. So how long of a week do we have? An hour. An hour? Just a little bit over an hour. And then, well, until we board, until the boarding starts. Yeah. But we probably want to wait at least half like we board here. Like 15 minutes or so. Yeah. We're sitting row two. You guys, this is so weird. The TSA cares guy. Hey, you dropped a piece. He gave her a lifesaver mint. She's literally never eaten a mint without spitting it out, and she is just going to town on this thing. I told David it's gonna Jesus. be the freshest. It's gonna be the freshest breath she's ever had. No, look, you dropped a piece. I was trying to help you. She look. usually doesn't like mint flavors. It's it's like little kids how when they say mints are spicy. Yeah. It's just that. I think these are the lifesavers ones, so it's probably a lot better. Mm -hmm. All right, Braley, we're gonna board soon. Get down that airplane. She's doing pretty good. <laughs> Running around every once in a while. Which is probably better. Yeah. Since we're gonna be sitting for so long. I don't know how it's gonna work We'll see. We'll see how it goes. We have no. We really have a choice but to get on the plane. <laughs> I'm hoping that she enjoys takeoff as much as she did the first time. This time you're going to be awake when we actually take off. How do you feel about that? How do you feel about being awake? She's so excited about this. That is so cool. You think it's funny that I'm copying you, huh? Are you nervous?
reminders for our flight today. Look. If you look up, you'll see the fast seatbelt look. sign is still on. <laughs> and federal regulations require that you remain seated anytime the sign is illuminated. If you land asleep, please make sure. Is off the chain. I've never used that expression. Expression? Expression. Her flying excitement is off the chain. I think it's because I told her we're almost home. Yeah. Well, we still gotta drive too. I know. Probably clean off the car because it looks like it snowed. Did you bring the scraper? Nope. Yeah, get your hair all pushed back. Come here. Pretty good, pretty good flight for you, really. It's the first fully awake flight. Yeah. Ready? Come in. Not too much excitement. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, as we make our final descent into Minneapolis, we'd appreciate your assistance. Really? So yeah, she she has done fantastic. Yeah, she did. She did amazing. A little overexcited, and then she would like a couple times she didn't put on her seatbelt. But we were having that problem in the van before we got to the airport too. So yeah, this is something we're going through right now. We're gonna get a uh, a thing that keeps her being able to unbuckle the top strap. I think. Yeah, I think so. Would be ideal for her. Yeah. Just because she she's uh, starting to get into the, I think it's part of a like a stem buckling and unbuckling. Yeah, buckling has been a big thing for her lately. No, she's doing her salon thing right now. <laughs> also wanted to point out, um, this is the first time ever, first time ever, first vacation vacation with no no no. Yeah. Not one meltdown this whole time. Yeah, not even close. And I hope I didn't jinx it. Right. <laughs> we still have a drive home, but yeah, we're, she's doing amazing. She's been able to self-regulate a lot more than she has in the past. My ears are popping. They're popping. It's popping. It's popping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so weird that everything's covered in snow. Yeah, it is. We're about to land. <laughs> I can't make it stop. She told me to stop. Look, look. And here it goes. Here it goes. We even got a clap. We even got a clap. Huh? Where did she okay. get? All the way out here. Yeah. She had the zoomies. Did she know where she was going? Hey, no. Hey, no, hey, really. Hey. 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 Come on. This way. What happens three hours after three hours of sitting down? That's exactly what I told the guy in front of me. I said, sit. Yeah. Wait till. <laughs> quality is not going to be that great because I have the heater on and my camera battery died <laughs> and it's cold. We're warming up the car right now. Braley, Braley for some reason just loves this. She's
cracking up. Okay, she stepped out of the shuttle bus. She was cracking up laughing, and it was wind going whoosh, making yeah. it even colder. It's, and she was that's some cracking cool. up. Oh, yeah. Really? You are a true Minnesotan. Yep. This is where we choose to live. We choose to live where our the car would barely but car would barely open because all the doors are frozen shut. And And your shuttle driver has to make sure that your car starts for you. Yeah, the shuttle driver waits to make sure your car starts. Nice guy too. Yeah. Look at that. Yep, that's a big snow pile on the windshield and guess what? No scraper! I didn't put a scraper in the car before we left. <laughs> So we just have to wait till the car semi warms up so that, so that slides right off. It's like negative eight. Yeah, windshield negative eight. So uh, we just left. Our, our home is negative two. Feels like negative twenty-two. So it's like it's like eighty-five in Orlando today. So we went from eighty-five, and we're going to negative two degrees. Are you so happy back here? Can I just say I'm so glad that we. <laughs> Are you so happy? I am so glad that nobody sat in the seat in front of her. Yeah, she was life. kicking the wall. Yeah. Those excited kids. Yeah, she. This is the most energetic travel day ever for her. Like she, she's been happy all day. That's what matters most, right? They kept us in a pretty good mood too. Yeah, normally, I was like super stressed out today, which is yeah. Nice normally traveling. traveling can be a little stressful and stuff, but for some reason today was pretty chill. It was good. Three three trips out there. I'm getting there, slowly but surely. Using a Chuck E. Cheese card and one of Braley's gloves. Yeah, we were not we were not prepared for the Minnesota return.